Welcome back, horror hounds. We are now on episode 10 of Ghostman and Rivera's Horror Show podcast. Yeah. I'm Mike Ghostman Pickle. And I'm James Rivera. Now, before we launch into the news today, Mike has a horrifying story of his own to tell. It was a bit of a nightmare in my house yesterday. It was, uh, it turned into Whittier Chainsaw Massacre, apparently. My next door neighbor attacked his wife with a chainsaw and tried to kill her. The guy went insane and tried to. Did you see any of the attack? No, we heard the screams. And when the kids play, that like they get together with the neighbor kids and play all the time. So they're always out there screaming their heads off. I heard she was bleeding all over the kids and she stumbled out of the house. Yeah, she came stumbling out of the house holding her arm. I guess he was wielding the chainsaw, chasing her with it, and he caught her and he came down with the chainsaw and she put her arms up. Yeah. And he cut her arms pretty bad and she had blood all down the front of her clothes. And I guess he took off out of the alley and got to Santa Fe Springs and then he crashed and he stole another car and took off. And just before I left to to do the podcast today, he was caught finally in Chula Vista. The new character poster for Captain Spaulding and Three from Hell just came out too. And James and I met him a couple times and James interviewed him. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. He's a little, a little blunt, but he's friendly though. And, for me, he's he's one of the few guys who I felt was intimidating and endearing at the same time. He's kind of funny because kinda, when you walk up to scary him, he's like, oh, what the fuck do you want? Yeah. Like, all right, sit down. He's but, like, oh, he was complaining at first, right? Yeah, like, but let's make this cool short. Guy. Tales from the Hood 2 trailer dropped. This is what I'm most excited for. I'm excited and upset at the same time. It looks good because I'm a, I'm a big fan of the original Tales from the Hood. But it's a fucking direct-to-DVD, a direct-to-Blu-ray release. I was hoping for something theatrical like the original one. Uh, Another one, Alien Covenant. Ooh, I want to hear your thoughts on this. I was really enjoying it. It was really exciting. I was getting into it. And then as soon as an alien made an appearance, it took me right out of the movie. The CGI? The shittiest-looking CGI aliens. There's so many scenes that he could have made really scary with a, with a practical effects alien. And there's something about that flute scene that I loved when, when one android was teaching the other one how to play a flute. Just kinda Doesn't cool. he say something like, I'll do the fingering and you do the blowing? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I thought that kind of took me out of it for a second. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? The best movie I've seen this week was Trash Fire from 2016. Written and directed by Richard Bates Jr., who our own Sally Boy here worked with him on Suburban, Suburban Gothic. Gothic. Trash Fire was phenomenal for the most part. I loved it, and it was one of the only films I've ever seen that I loved, but I had some major issues with. He believes that he accidentally killed his family, burned his family alive when he was younger, and the only ones that are left is his grandma and his little sister, which got disfigured in the fire. And his little sister is played by Anna Lynn McCord, a former model and actress. Uh, she's from 90210 and Nip Tuck. And Nip she was Tuck. the one that was miscast. She was running around too much because she's got the burnt face. And she's running around the house a little too bent over, a little too much. I'm creepy. Overacting. Yeah, I'm talking like this, and I'm real creepy. <laughs> but uh, Trash Fire stars Adrian Grenier. Adrian you know Grenier. From Entourage. Yeah, the main character. That is a pretty man. I'm sorry. He's oh, a pretty I don't boy. I to apologize, but... You don't have to apologize. <laughs> that is a pretty man. I was kind of attracted to him when I was watching that movie. He just got better looking with age. Thank you for your blunt honesty, Michael. <laughs> It's written, both written and directed by Richard Bates Jr., and I think he's very good at both. So I'm, I'm excited to check out Excision and finish watching the rest of Suburban, Suburban Gothic. Suburban Gothic. Well, that's it for episode 10 of Ghostman and Rivera's Horror Show podcast. Hope you all enjoyed it, and happy horror. Happy horror.